who lived with his pirates in a bog by a tree. It was a pretty nasty place, but he was happy because ogres like nasty. On his seventh birthday, his pirates sat him down to talk, just as old ogre pirates had for hundreds of years before.
past its swamp, far away from civilization. And whenever an angry mob came by to learn about the state, he knew exactly what to do.
Forced? By who? In Lord Farquhar. He hoofed, and he poofed, and he started a fiction notice. Oh, well, not a problem. Now you are me to turn around and go back where you came from. Go back? We can't. Mark, I to brothers. You guys had news. Yeah, I'm also an owner, which means I stay in my swamp and avoid large crowds. Why haven't you read the stories? Oh, you mean the story that I am a big bad wolf? <laughs> Run away! <laughs> and Dr. 
Come back. Can I just say, that was incredible. Man, they were tripping over themselves to get away from you. I like that. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad. Well, why don't you go celebrate your narrow escape with your little friends? But, um, I don't have friends. Oh, that's a shocker. <laughs> Say, you lost something? No. Just trying to find the best route to Duloc. Oh, oh Duloc? I know Duloc. You gotta let me stay away because you're like a walking GPS with fur. Please make a left at the next candy house. I'll be fine on my own, thanks. But nobody's trying to walk. Not when you look like we do. Hey, did you hear what I said? Man, this place is going Stepford. We gotta join forces, otherwise they're gonna lock me up. I cannot go back in the cage. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it's been about six years in solitary for impersonating Vinyasa. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't mind me saying if that doesn't work, your brother certainly get the job done. <laughs> Listen, little donkey. Take a look at me. What am I? Uh, really great. <laughs> no, I'm an ogre. You know, grab your torch and the pitchforks. Doesn't that bother you? Nope. Really? Really, really. <laughs> okay. Man, I like you. What's your name? Shrek. Shrek. Huh. Well, you know what I like about you, Shrek? You got that whole, I don't care what anybody thinks about me thing going for you. I like that. Oh, good. Goodbye. Hey, 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 I gotta let me go with you. You don't know what it's like to be considered a freak. Well, maybe you do. But that's why we gotta stick together. Don't the speak. Later, don't speak, don't speak, don't speak.
keep the jabbering to minimum. Got it, no jabbering. You will not regret this. To it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Shred and don't be two Star Wars friends on a big city world with adventure. But bam! <laughs>
Oh, I'm like, no, what kind of insane game is that? Haven't you ever been on a road trip? No. Well, you need to get out more. Because what's my name? Oh, you got to put that wagon full of hair up there. Don't get if you do that to me one See? more See? That's another reason you need me around. Who else is gonna fill you in on all the fun stuff you missed out on? You may not know it or not, but you are one lucky old girl. Punch Bunny! <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty fun. Should we play again? No, 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 no. That's who works fun. I spy him. I don't want to pick this. Something that ain't gonna put me in a body cast. <laughs> oh, hey, don't kidding. Look, it's Lord Farquaad's castle. I told you I'd get us there. It's a bit much, isn't it? Don't you think he might be compensating for something? <laughs> <laughs> So, that's all. 
this strength? Why didn't you just make fun of I give you a smart back? You know, who pulls some of that older stuff on? Throttle. Let's see these two explore. The whole older trip. For your information, there's a lot more to ogres than people think. Example? Oh, example. Onions. Ogres, I like onions. Yes, they? Yes. No. Do they cry? No. Oh, leave them on the sun, they get our brown stuff, sprout little white hairs. Layers. Yeah. You see, uh, you know, onions have layers, uh, and the ogres have layers, you know, uh, but onions have, uh, you get it, we both have layers. Uh, oh, you both have layers. Okay. Not everybody like onions. Perfect. Everybody likes parfaits. I mean, have you ever met a guy who said, hey, uh, you want to go get some parfaits? They say, hell no, I want a parfaits. <laughs> parfaits are delicious. I don't care, ogres are not like parfaits. Parfaits may be the most delicious thing on the whole damn planet. <laughs> this may turn into the longest day of my entire life. Ooh, I got the perfect review for that one. No, I am not interested. Let you go. 
excuse me, I'll be on my way. Oh, God. <laughs> Take my hand on bending. 
It's on my to-do list. <laughs> And this is what I realized. 
If we escape the dragon, then we can do anything. I can be a noble Steve. I can work the Crusade Sunday. Ooh, I can even wear a big beat one of those horses who pull the, uh, the wagon full of beer. I need some hair extensions on my ankles, but I can get away with it. <laughs> who do you want to be? I don't want to be anyone. Not just for fun, though. Who's okay? I wouldn't. But if you had to? Don't care. Like I forgot how to swore up the internet and said, look, you're over. You can come be an over anymore. Who's big? Oh, I would pick that guy up and throw him into a tree. <laughs> Man, you are no fun at all, you know it? Is this what it's going to be like when we finish rescuing this princess? Us sitting around our swamp doing nothing all day? Donkey, there is no we. There is no our. There is only me and my swamp. And as soon as I get back, I'm going to build a ten-foot wall around my land. Come on, B. Come on, B. Just like that. What's your problem anyway? What do you have against the whole world? It's not me who has the problem. It's the whole world who seems to have a problem with me. You saw how it was with the princess. That's how it always is. It's always. Oh, look! I'm the big, stupid, ugly ogre. They judge me before they even take a chance to know me. And that's why I'm better off alone. Well, you know when we first met? I didn't think you were just a big stupid ugly over. Yeah, I know. So there's really no one else you're going to be? Here we go, we are standing guard with me a 
you by chance see some of those funny little mushrooms by the street. No, I'm just happy that it's a new day full of promising fresh starts. And the first thing I'd like to do is apologize for my behavior yesterday. We obviously got on the wrong foot and I'd like to make it up to you. You would? Yes, you did rescue me after all. So I gathered a basket of berries for the trip and I made you each a daisy chain. Oh, these are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful, Shrek? Uh, I, uh... You'll grow to love them, I promise. Lead the way. So, princess, do you often frolic with rats? And what if I do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, princess, German festive vermin. Oh, uh, it's not exactly what I expected. Well, maybe you shouldn't judge people before you get to know them. <laughs> so tell me about my groom to be or far What does he like? Oh, I... Uh, let me put it this way. Men of Lord Farquaad's stature are in short supply. Oh, really? Yeah, and he's a little intimidating. Well, he must be. Oh, but yeah, very good at small talk. Wait, what do you guys do? Well, nothing. Just saying, you might want to lower your expectations a bit. Yeah, about three feet or so. Alright, y'all get up. Doesn't bother me. Not today. After a lifetime of misery, things are finally going my way. Oh, <laughs> a lifetime of misery. Okay. You chuckled. Huh? When I said lifetime of misery, you chuckled. Did I? Yes. Look, I'm sure it was hard living in a dragon gorgon tower. It was. Oh. All right then. Although it must have been nice to have a roof over your head, which is more than I had when I left home. Actually comparing yourself to what I endured. Just saying, you don't corner the market of unhappy childhoods. There are things you don't know. Do you know about me? About how rough I had it? Oh, you're run out of shampoo a couple times. I mean about my life. In that cushy tower of yours. Cushy? Are you kidding? I had nothing in that tower. Fighting for by the hour. Princess Lonely, walking in circles. I had only bare essentials. Army cut, a hot plate, and a chamber pot. And every morning I would boil it. No choice I had no toilet. Just a view of devastation out one window. Isolation.
been watching and the signals are clear. And her just laughs and she touches her skin. The sway palms, the big open grin. With the giggle and a flip of her hair, I smell the pheromones in the air. Making blue eyes over the food, they need my help here and set me with Oh, you don't believe love is blind? Yes. 
out of here and I ain't playing games. <laughs>
If words fail, she'll understand. Don't you even try a 
supposed to go around my swamp, not through it. It is around your half. That's your half. This is mine. Your half? Yes. I have rescued the princess. I did half the work. I did half the beauty. Oh, back off. You back off. Stubborn jackass. Smelly over. This is my swamp. There you go again. My, my, my. Me, me, me. Well, guess what? Now it's my turn. Just shut up and pay attention. You are mean to me. You insult me. And you don't appreciate anything I do. You always pushing me away or pushing me down. You're so wrapped up in your own layers, onion boy, that you're afraid of your own feelings. <laughs> Go away! There you go again. Just like you did Fiona. And you know, all she did was ever like you. Maybe even love you. Love me? I heard the two of you talking. She called me a hideous beast. She wasn't talking about you. She was talking about it. She was talking about it. Someone else. If she wasn't talking about me, then who would she be talking about? Uh-uh. No way. You don't want to listen to me. Right? Donkey? Nope. Okay, look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I guess I am just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Can you forgive me? That's what friends are for, right? Right! Friends? Friends. Uh, uh, so, uh, what did Fiona say about me? Why are you asking me? Go ask her yourself. Ask her. If I want to be a hero, then that's a chance. Oh, don't get the wedding. We'll never make it in time. Now, what kind of noble steed would I be if I didn't have a plan? <laughs> Oh. 
big, bright, beautiful world with possibilities everywhere. True love is blind, maybe you won't mind the view. I know I would love the handsome prince for whom you've waited. Princess and an ogre, I admit, is complicated. You've never read a book like this. But fairy tales should really be updated. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. I see it now.
once upon a time to look like us would be a pity, but now we know that